the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, notification bell, share, like, tell a friend. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing Dirty Gal, Tin Boom. You know what I say? It's a Jamaican like quick meal. You know what I say? We call it mackerel. So let's do it. Let's introduce the ingredients. So I got this grace mackerel right here. If you want to take a, a closer look, uh, mackerel in tomato sauce, which is really nice, right? It's gonna go with peppers, onion. I got garlic. I got scallion. I got thyme. You know what I'm saying I got the whole nine yard. You know what I'm saying to put in there. I got some tomato. I'm gonna put in there too. Cause flip it up. Some cherry tomato. They sweet like sugar. So. I want to incorporate I got a little bit of butter going to be going into the rice and a little bit into the mackerel. My garlic is right here, minced garlic. We're going to put a little bit of that in there. You know what I'm saying? I got my pepper right here. You know, you can't cook mackerel without pepper. Real talk. You have to put that in there. So don't forget that part of it, all right? And my special marinade, you know what I'm saying, that we've been working with all the time as much as we can every time we try to do this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of oil as well for it as well. So, And this rice that we're doing right now, it's not going to be washed as three times normally the regular rice. Because this is a scented flavor rice, jasmine rice. So I got one and one quarter and quarter cup of rice. So we're going to go ahead and add like um, one quart and three quarter of a quart water, okay? So you need one quart and add three quarter more quarts, okay? That's the ratio for this rice if you're cooking one quarter rice one and a half quart water all right all right so let's get into it now so a little bit of olive oil a little um, grapeseed oil and my rice for flavor you know what i'm saying that goes in there bay leaf let's do two you know what i'm saying a little bit of my green herbs because i like my green herbs flavor, you got garlic, you got scallion, you got thyme, you got onions. Everything is in this that I need to give my thing the right flavor, you know what I'm saying? And we're using kosher salt, so it's not that too salty, so we're going to go in and put some salt in. It looks like a lot, but trust me, it's not. You know, you can, and what you do normally with the salt, you can add the salt and then mix it in the water and taste the water a little bit. And then if you need more salt, you can put more salt, okay? All right, so water in. We won't need you know three quarter more of that in there. So I just spin them around, get everything you know, do what it does. And when we come back, we're gonna show you how to put it on the stove and get it going. All right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is what you're looking for right here. You know, I just taste it and I add a little bit more salt to it. And you know what I'm saying? Piece of butter in here, melting down slowly. So I'm going to cook it like this for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to turn it on low for another 10. And I'm going to turn it off and let it sit for 5 minutes and the steam by itself. You know, but you can see the color, a little bit of the green herbs that I put in there. You know what I'm saying? My bay leaf is in there. If you want, you can put some scallion, you can put some garlic. You know what I'm saying? You can put some onion. But in my marinade, I got all of those in my marinade, so that's why I wasn't even worried about trying to put those inside of it. You know what I'm saying? If you want, you can put a piece of pepper in there as well, too. But, you know, this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to let it cook, and then we're going to show you the finishing touch when we come back, okay? All right. All right, so rice is finished over here. Look at the rice. Shelly and nice. Not um, sticking together, which some people like it soft, but I like my rice to be chilly, so nice rice. I already taste it. Taste on point, you know, flavor is in there. All the herbs that um, blend up in there and all of that, a little bit of bay leaf, a little bit of thyme. You know, from the herbs that I blend up, I have garlic, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of onion, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of cilantro. More flavor, you know? You know what I'm saying? A um, flavor profile to another level. So you're not even like on a one note flavor all the time, you know? If you want, you could add some coconut milk in here as well, too. 
a little bit of coconut oil, which I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil to the mackerel right now to give it more flavor, you know? Coconut oil always in this house, so just keep it like that. Just a little bit. So as we talked before, pepper cut in two. So then I'm going to put it in here first. So you guys can see pepper doing this thing. I got a little bit of butter right here. I normally put butter in my mackerel as well. See that little bit of butter right here? Okay. So I'm going to dump the seasoning right now. Uh, the mackerel is already cooked. If you guys have never cooked mackerel before, it's already cooked so and it's already kind of like half seasoned. So you just want to make sure you balance the rest of the seasoning you know, with whatever you have. I still put a little bit of salt and pepper in mine because I can't cook enough salt and pepper. So pinch of salt and pepper. And if you like to have a lot of you know oil in your mackerel, you can put a lot of a um, little bit more oil in there, but it's trying to stay on there. Not too much grease side. We've been eating grease all our life, so we decided we can go a little bit less without it. Yep. Sweat them off slowly. And these veg you have to sweat off, completely sweat off. Because all these veg can basically eat raw. A lot of people don't really eat onion raw, but if you get like a guacamole, there's raw onion in there. And if you get like a burger, there's raw onion, which may be red onion or whatever onion they gave you on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure everything is sweat off nice. Then we're going to open up the cans of mackerel. We're going to dump them in there. And it's already cooked, so we're going to cook it for so it's simmer them and steam down for 10 minutes. 10 minutes will be good. And then if you want it quicker, 5 minutes will be okay too. But I think 10 minutes to get it hot, because you want to reach a temperature of reheating anything that's already cooked to 180. Okay, don't forget that. Anything you're cooking, you want to reheat it to 180. I think 170, 160 is good, but 180 to be sure. And then bring it back to that temperature. So you know you don't get sick when you're to reheat food. If you work in the hotel or any place that deal with food and you're re-eating food, that's how they teach you it, alright? Yeah. That's nice, huh? A lot of colors in here. There are always a lot of colors in what we do when we cook food, you know? From the Caribbean. A lot of pepper, onions, you know what I'm saying? Carrots, you know? Pumpkin. You name it. We have it in there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sweating off this for five minutes, not more than five minutes. So what I'm thinking, um, after five minutes, you're gonna have to open the mackerel and put them in there. And these mackerel come with keys on them. So what I normally do before I open these, I get a piece of napkin and I clean it up because you don't really know if anything's on on the top. So or you wash it, okay? With this one's a little bit some dust on it and sitting down too long in the house or sitting down too long in the store so, so you want to make sure you clean the top off before you open it up any foreign body in here you don't drop into your food you clean. so let's do it you got to be careful when you open this because this cut finger off as well trust me Never cut mine when I saw people get their finger cut off. See that? That's it, don't want to come off, huh? Yep. Some people smash their out, you know, but they don't need to. They let it do what it do slowly, you know? Yeah. Since I told you, there's a lot of in tomato sauce. I'm not even going to um, add the tomato in here right now. But there's a lot of tomato sauce in here. Yeah, that looks good. That bring me back, you know? I haven't cooked mackerel in a while. It bring me back. 
back to the days, you know, we used to eat a lot of mackerel. Growing up in Jamaica, you know, we're not from one of the richest families in Jamaica, but, you know, we weren't that poor, we give thanks, you know? We weren't that rich as well, so we could balance both life, rich and poor life, you know? Yeah. So, as I'm saying, just let it cook down slowly. You don't need any major anything with this. Just let it slowly cook down, put your thing on low flames. As I tell you before, in the sauce is already seasoning. So if you want to taste it, you can taste it as if you need more seasoning. But I guarantee you, you don't need more seasoning. So when we come back, you won't see the finishing touch. I'm putting it in low. So it takes its time. You don't want it to cook too quick as well because it's tomato. And tomato got a lot of sugar in there as well. So if you cook it too quick, then it go down, it get burned quick easily, all right? So let it slow, simmer, simmer, simmer. You know what I'm saying? All right, when we come back, we talk about it. So yeah, finishing touch. See what it look like. You know what I said, mackerel. A little bit of butter in there for more flavor. And then so oil, not too much oil, but there's a lot of sauce in here. That's in the container. Some people put tomato. I was gonna put some cherry tomato. They're very sweet, but I see there was a lot of sauce in these cans. So I decided, you know what? No sauce is in here. So I'm gonna plate up a plate so you see what it look like. Back in a minute. So as you say, you know, tin mackerel and rice, tin woman rice, you know, it's simple, it's easy, you know what I'm saying, but yet still delicious, you know what I'm saying, take a look at it, final presentation. So, um, nice and looking lovely on the plate, you know what I'm saying, I just try to make a small plate because, you know, no need for that, you know what I'm saying, um, the rice, well flavored up rice. And um, garnish with some basil blossom on top of it. You know what I'm saying? You can't go better than that. You know, don't forget, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We appreciate all you guys that you know tune into the channel. And don't forget, if you guys need us to cook something, please leave it in the comment. You know what I'm saying? All day, every day. Hi, thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you. Don't forget. To hit the notification bell, tell a friend, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the above.